Good day, YouTubers. Uh, today brings a follow-up uh, review of a uh, recent cassette that I brought, which is a wide range, 11 to 50 tooth. Uh, this particular one is branded as VG Sports, but it comes under several other brand names. Uh, one is uh, Bikeco uh, Bolognoi, another one is Zitto Sunshine. They're all the same cassette, made identically, obviously out of the same factory, but uh, just branded uh, differently. Um, they report this cassette very, very light, uh, 363 grams, plus minus 20 grams in tolerance, uh, a 20 gram tolerance. Uh, it is plus 20, uh, without doubt. So you're looking around a 380 gram cassette here. Uh, I, I've got to like the way of, uh, the Chinese word things, but um, yeah, that one was, uh, was pretty amazing when I put it on the scales, that it was actually quite a bit heavier. Um, still, even at 380 odd grams, it's still a very, very light cassette on, on comparison to what's on the market. So, um, you know, I can't knock it f from a weight to dollar point of view. It's probably one of the best bang for your bucks. Um, you know, we're only looking at $136 Australian, probably around about $100 US. Um, there, it is dearer than that in some cases, but, um, you know, that would be at about its uh, cheapest. Uh, now this review is not necessarily why I would buy it, this is actually why I would not buy this cassette. Um, if you are just uh, doing trail riding, look, it's going to be fantastic. Um, uh, trail riding is in fire roads. If you're just doing fire roads, it'd be fantastic. If you're doing technical trails, this cassette is not for you. Um, I've done about 100 kilometers on it now, so I've given it a fairly good test on um, various different terrain, uh, and it doesn't suit. Uh, the type of terrain that I would typically uh, ride on, which is your, just your typical single track with some rocks, some rock gardens, some obstacles, uh, trial features. Yeah, it, if you need to half pedal, this thing's not going to be for you. So let's get into it. Let's have a look at how this thing uh, actually shifts. Alright, so heading up the cassette. Beautiful. Shifts really well. Just as you go between the um, last of the high tensile steel and the alloy uh, part of the cassette, shifting's not quite as crisp there, but for the money, I would have no issues with that. Multiple shifts. Great. And just have a quick look at uh, my chain lengths and so forth. Brand new chain, KMT gold chain. Um, yes, I could probably come you know, a couple of more links out, a little bit maybe, two links at the most. Um, but I like to change between running a, 30, um, a 32 off at the front up to a 34 at the front. I think I'm currently running a 30 at the front. Um, so I need that little bit of extra change for that. And, and this, this is really good. Uh, we don't have too much tension on it here at all. Um, the manufacturer, when I spoke to them about my concerns with this cassette, they said take two links out. I put another chain on it that is two links shorter, brand spanking new again, and um, it, it was the same. Uh, they said to wear it in. It's got 100 kilometers on it now. As far as I'm con concerned, is cassettes don't usually wear in, they wear out. So I believe the issue that I'm having here, uh, which is backpedaling, is actually only going to get worse. So let's zoom in, have a little bit more of a closer look at the actual issue itself. There we go, we can see nice and sharp. Okay. See how this performs. Okay, let's get it round once. So we're at the 12 o'clock position. Let's start the back pedal process. We're off. Now let's see where it came off. At about the quarter turn mark, we're off. And that's only doing it slow. Okay, slow. Okay, you can see we're off here. At the quarter turn mark, we're completely off. Okay, do it fast. The whole thing's just jammed. So. Uh, if you were about to come up to some sort of trail feature and you need to do a little mono in order to get it up and you wanted to get your um, strong leg back in order to do that crank, 
this seems to be a disaster right now. Um, in fact, it's almost derailed itself, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm, I might have to actually uh, help this out. Take all the tension off, and we're back on again. Okay, so that was fairly extreme. Let's get back up there. Alright, back fairly. So we're, we're forward here. We need to get our other strong leg um, back in order to do a little uh, mono. Completely off. Okay, alright. If you need to go again, that's it. We're actually jammed at this point. So three quarters of a turn and we're jammed. That's only big, that's on the 50 though. Okay. okay, quarter turn, we're off. Quarter turn, we're off. It's completely off. So that's now on the 42. Let's check out the, I think it's the 36. Okay, almost a half turn. Just looking at it, but we're starting to come off at the quarter turn mark. Uh, we're halfway between that and halfway and we're, we're off again. All right, completely off. Completely off. Okay, let's drop down to the... Okay, now we're on the last of the aluminiums. And we're holding. We're holding at that point. Okay, just to do a comparison against the ship, a cassette that does shift really, really well. Let's take a look at my other bike with a Garber or whatever. Again, a Merida. Uh, built for a one by, so this particular bike is um, the Marita Big Nine, the green one you just seen on there. That is built to be a one by running Shimano SLX one by eleven. So this is the Marita ninety six uh, XC bike. Also designed to run a 1x11. Um, the only thing I've changed on this is the uh, Garbrook cassette on the back. Garbrook cassette is an amazing piece of engineering. Um, excuse the bike, it's quite dirty, it was ridden uh, just recently. Um, again, same ratio, but all these through here are made of one solid piece of um, high tensile steel which has been completely milled out with an alloy 7075 spider which is riveted to the back of it, the same as the SRAM XX1 uh, in design principle, but this thing is lighter again. It's only about 300 grams, this cassette. Um, I've now run this cassette well over 1500 kilometers. In fact, I think it's more closer to around 1800 uh, kilometers, probably approaching 2000 now, and it is crisp, you'll see it. So let's have a quick look. So just shifting up, Again, this is um, typical SRAM, just so positive. Down the cassette, just so you can see a few. Perfect. Model shifts, all the way up to the top one. Okay, let's have a look at this one with back pedaling. Not an issue. That's the way it should be done. Crazy back pedal. Alright, well that pretty much concludes my review of why I would not buy the VG Sport, the Zito, the Bolinoi, or the Sunshine Wide Range Cassette. Um, Please leave your comments and questions uh, below and uh, help me out to bring more content by subscribing. Um, I will be bringing some more content on the Marita Big 9 Limited and the uh, sort of bling modifications that we've done um, to it since we uh, first got it. Uh, it certainly is one of the best bang for your bucks um, hardtail bikes I think you can possibly get at the moment. So uh, I will be bringing some more content on that and maybe some more content on the uh, the Merida 96 that you see here, which is my, um, yeah, it's pretty much my daily, it's my race bike, it's, um, I love it, dual suspension, uh, 96 mil travel at the um, back, uh, 100 in front, pretty much just about to ride it everywhere, uh, including, you know, some real uh, enduro territory, maybe not for downhill, but uh, certainly it can handle quite a fair bit.
Um, again, leave your comments, questions below, and uh, help me out by subscribing. Thank you very much for watching.